When you think of heavy haul rail transport, your mind likely jumps to the massive and lengthy trains of Australia, South Africa and the United States. Yes, we've covered those on our channel for nearly three years now. However, today we're venturing into the Arctic Circle to explore a unique heavy haul corridor in Europe. The only European railway line that qualifies as heavy haul according to International Heavy Haul Association criteria is the Malmbanan line in Sweden and its extension the Ofotbanen in Norway. These lines are crucial for transporting iron ore pallets and fines from the mines in Kiruna and Pajala east to Luleå on the Gulf of Bothnia and west to the deep water port of Norwich on the Atlantic, one of the world's most northerly ports. The narrative of this story can be traced to the late 19th century when Sweden began to exploit the vast magnetite deposits near the now established town of Kiruna, situated 170 km southeast of Norwich. To link the mines in this area and ports, private investors decided to construct a railway line which commenced as early as 1883. But this initiative led to bankruptcy of investors in 1889, with only the section from Gjellivar to Luleå operational. However, Luleå's incapacity to remain ice-free during winter and the unsuitability of other Swedish ports for exporting iron ore prompted the extension of the railway line to Norwich. Before we dive deeper into the story of this amazing engineering marvel, we want to take a moment to thank MyHeritage for sponsoring today's video. Researching family history is as fascinating as exploring these hidden railway stories and MyHeritage provides the tools to discover your own personal heritage. Let's see how easy it is to start your journey with MyHeritage. Here one of Railway's explained team members added his grandfather, a man who, much like the pioneers of these Arctic routes, braved new frontiers. In just a few clicks he was able to build out a substantial part of his family tree, tracing back to his great-great-grandparents. It's amazing to think about their lives and how each generation builds the next. Interestingly, while using my heritage, he made a surprising family discovery. He found out that he almost gave his son the same name as his great-great-grandfather Millerad, a name that popped up thanks to MyHeritage smart matches. Although he chose a different name in the end, this connection to his past was both unexpected and touching. He also uploaded and restored an old family photo using MyHeritage's photo tools. The enhanced and colorized image of his great-grandparents provides a vivid glimpse into the past century, making history personal and tangible. With MyHeritage also, you can dive into over 20 billion historical documents. In addition, check out this instant discovery feature. With just one click, he added an entire branch to his family tree. We need to point out that uncovery family history with my heritage was full of surprises, much like the stories we found about this Arctic Railway. We encourage you to start your own exploration and see what stories lie in your personal history. Click the link in the description to try my heritage today and uncover the amazing stories of your ancestors. Unlike many other ore lines which operate on diesel traction, the Mount Banan was electrified at 15 kV 16Hz as early as 1915, with the Offutt Banan following suit in 1923. Today this railway line operates within a European, vertically segregated market, distinguishing itself from most heavy haul railways around the globe. Spanning 473 kilometers from Norwich to Luleå, this single-track line goes from Kiruna to Kjellivar, Boden, Luleå and includes a 40 kilometers branch from Ruotsi to Sapuavara. A key player in this narrative is LKAB, a state-owned Swedish mining company established in 1890 and fully nationalized since the 1950s. LKAB's evolution from a mere miner to an operator of railway transport 
is really a testament to the market adaptation this company has gone through. Since 2000, LKA Beam, alongside its subsidiary LKA Beam Malm Traffic, has owned the rolling stock, workshops and terminals, and secured trafficking rights on the Malm Banan and off of the Banan, significantly reducing transportation costs. When we are talking about the ore line itself, it is important to highlight that comprehensive study was conducted between 1996 and 1997 by the National Rail Infrastructure Administrations of both countries in collaboration with the LKAB that investigated the potential impacts of increasing axle loads from 25 to 30 tons. The findings were promising, indicating that such enhancements, alongside the use of longer trains, would not significantly raise maintenance costs. Following this, a major initiative was undertaken to upgrade the entire line to accommodate the 30-ton axle load, with significant work being carried out to reinforce more than 100 bridges and many more culverts. Also, to facilitate the passage of two 750 meters long trains simultaneously, passing loops have been extended to approximately 790 meters. This period of infrastructural enhancement during the 2000s marked a pivotal shift in the operational capabilities of the ore line. Axle loads were successfully increased from 25 to 30 tons, and the length of trains was expanded from 52 to 68 wagons. This improvement enabled a significant rise in the gross load capacity of a fully loaded train powered by two locomotives from 5,200 tons to 8,160 tons, excluding the weight of the locomotives themselves. On a typical weekday, LKAB organizes the operation of 10 heavy haul iron ore trains along with Kaunis Iron that contributes to the line's traffic with two trains running from Sapavara to Norvik. These trains not only transport iron ore, but also carries additives used in processing on the return journeys, enabling the sustainability of the business model. During 2022, 29 million tons of ore were transported on the ore railway line in Sweden, which represents the 40% of the total transported goods. The utilization of ore rail line extends beyond iron ore transport. Intermodal traffic thrives along this route thanks to the efforts of Cargonet and DB Schenker, which operate trains from the Fagernes Terminal in Norwich, opened in 2013. This expansion caters to the growing needs of the region's salmon farms, and the delivery of 90% of groceries consumed in northern Norway, indicating a promising forecast for further growth. Complementing the freight services, four passenger trains run daily in each direction, including overnight services between Stockholm and Norwich. Also, we need to mention that trains at mines and ports move continuously. Loading and unloading speeds range from 0.15 to 0.5 meters per second, and the use of balloon loops at the Kiruna and Luleå terminals excludes the need for locomotives to run around, thus enhancing the utilization of locomotives and wagons. The Norwich Ore Harbour, operational from 1903, boasts a capacity of approximately 30 million tons annually. Its status as an ice-free, deep-water harbour allows it to accommodate ocean-going freight ships year-round. In Norwich Harbour is constructed an unloading station with its 750 meter length and fully automated track, where a train carrying 6,800 tons of iron ore can be unloaded in 30 minutes. Contrarywise, the Luleå Ore Harbour, operational for about 7 months of the year due to ice conditions, has an annual capacity of 8 million tons and possess unloading loop designed for unloading of a train in less than one hour. LKAB's operations on the Iron Ore Railway in Sweden and Norway are powered by an advanced fleet of rolling stock, specifically designed to tackle the rigorous demands of Arctic rail transport. At the heart of this fleet are the 5.4 MW I ore locomotives, supplied by Bombardier, 
which are among the most powerful electric locomotives in the world with traction force of 1200 kN. These locomotives are tailor-made for extremely heavy rail freight, including the ability to maintain a constant low speed during loading and unloading processes. This feature eliminates the need for additional shunting locomotives, streamlining operations and reducing logistical complexity. To support these powerful locomotives, LKAB relies on a fleet of more than 1100 special type F-series boggy hopper wagons. These wagons, constructed locally by Kiruna Wagon from 2005 onwards, are specifically engineered for operation in extreme winter conditions. Namely, their design minimizes the risk of damage from snow and ice, ensuring reliable service even in the harsh Arctic climate. Also, the train is coupled by Soviet-designed SA3 couplers. Unlike the more commonly used coupling systems in Europe, the robust and reliable SA3 couplers are tailored for heavy haul rail freight, offering significant advantages such as enhanced safety through their ability to handle high tensile forces, operational efficiency with automatic coupling capabilities, and improved train integrity over long distances. The operation's efficiency is currently hindered by outdated infrastructure, including an old relay-based signaling system and a single-track line that increases delay impacts across all trains. Efforts to modernize include the Traffic Verkets project for re-signaling the OR line with the ERTMS, prioritized for rollout to enhance capacity and safety. Bombardier Transportation was selected to supply the ERTMS solution to the Malmbanan line with phased implementation beginning in 2021. We have not been able to find information on how far this project has come and any information in that sense would mean a lot, so if you know something about this, feel free to write in the comments. Recognizing the need for more significant capacity and safety improvements, a joint study by Swedish and Norwegian infrastructure managers in 2014 concluded that track doubling the Kiruna Norway line is both necessary and economically viable. Traffic Verket has initiated studies for track doubling on specific sections, considering alignment options, capital costs, and environmental impact. Meanwhile, maintenance and operational challenges persist exacerbated by the region's extreme temperatures, which range from minus 40 to plus 25 degrees Celsius, including prolonged periods of darkness significantly restricting the maintenance season. Maintenance crews are constrained to working within narrow windows for 6 to 8 hours during the night, utilizing the summer mine shutdowns for more complex maintenance activities. The result of this is that it is practically impossible to provide completely reliable infrastructure throughout the entire line length. And as a result, for example, we have a derailment which happened on December 17th. This derailment caused extensive damage to infrastructure, including the snow gallery, 15 km of track, and two track switches, and resulted in the destruction of 26,000 concrete slippers, due to wheels that had previously derailed. This event necessitated an intensive restoration effort that was then hindered by severe winter conditions. However, shortly after resuming operations, another derailment occurred just north of the previous accident site, further disrupting traffic and causing additional damage to a 6km stretch of track, which further halted operations until March 6th. As you might guess, these consecutive derailments have significantly impacted LKAB, leading to substantial financial losses estimated at 500 million euros. It also created many logistical challenges in moving accumulated iron ore pallet stockpiles. Kaunis Iron and other freight operations, including fish deliveries from Norway, also faced delivery stops and reduced income. As we reach the end of our journey exploring the remarkable iron ore rail line in the Arctic Circle, we hope you've enjoyed and learned something from this deep dive into the only heavy haul line in European territory. 
If you find this content insightful and want to discover more fascinating stories from the world of railways, don't forget to subscribe to Railways Explained. Your support is crucial for us to continue bringing these amazing railway stories. As we wrap up our journey on the Arctic Railways, remember that your own history is waiting to be uncovered with my heritage. Don't forget to check them out. Start building your family tree with a 14-day free trial and explore the rich tapestry of your past.